How we feeling? How we feeling? Feeling good? To those I've loved for all my life But memories won't fade as we grow These years have gone by way too fast But this will last The friendships that we made along the way To get us through the best years of our lives Please help me congratulate Logan Lennox, who will be receiving a 43,747 Vodges scholarship. It is with great pride that I ask our 2022 Golden Lance student recipient, Matthew Coffey, to come to the stage. Can our 2022 Golden Student Patriot recipient, Amaya Spencer, please join me on stage. Class of 2022, some members and families, thank you for being here for our special day. Here we are together one last time to celebrate our monumental achievement, graduation. So last year, like, I lost all of my vision. So I liked, I liked being alone so that, I guess, being in front of people, it embarrassed me. So I liked, you know, being home and doing classes online because we didn't have to have our cameras on so they didn't really know what was happening. But now since when we're back, it, it's, a, it's different, and now everybody knows that I can't see, and when, I, when people know that I can't see, it definitely brings a lot of attention that you don't necessarily want to, but yeah, we're getting through it. <laughs> My name is Keandra Strickhauser, and I go to Catacton High School. Um, so currently my favorite subject is psychology right now. Um, because the information that we learn in there is very interesting and the um, teacher that I have makes it very engaging. So, and we get to hear lots of interesting stories which makes it a lot of fun. Um, yeah, losing my vision definitely has changed the way I learn because previous to losing my vision, I was like a visual learner, but now I have to learn by auditory and I have a computer that will talk to me on, on what's on the screen and when I type it reads me like the letters that I'm typing and if I type the wrong letter that's how I know when like to backspace and also losing my vision has made it more difficult to interact with people um, just because sometimes it's difficult for them to understand and like most people don't understand that they have to say my name to me when they want to get my attention because I don't know who they're talking to. But if I know them really well, I know that they're talking to me. So, yeah. <laughs> I would say reach out to somebody that you trust. Um, the teachers here have definitely been helpful. Um, they've made this school definitely a welcoming place for me. And I just tell them, 
you can you can do it. Like I know it'll be difficult, but you can get through it. Every teacher here like really wants the students to succeed. I am going to the Ohio State University and majoring in animal science and minoring in business and psychology. I definitely learned how to persevere and be a hard worker. Um, because I lost my vision, it means that I have to work harder to achieve what I want to achieve, and I don't let losing my vision be an excuse for stuff I don't want to do. Keandra Joy Strickenhauser. It feels very fast. I swear I feel like I just got here, and now I'm already walking out. But yeah, it feels good. I'm ready to take my next step. I'm ready to see where life, can, life is going to take me. My name is Alpha, and I go to Walkersville High School. I can say it's been a roller coaster. I've just been all over the place. I always, you know, like every kid, I'm already done with school. So it's like I'm just here. But then the more I grow, the more I just see that it's only one thing really that I take interest in and yeah, school does that. They teach you, but growing up you don't like it. So it's like, yeah, I'm glad I learned now that knowledge is better than anything else. It just means focus. Like, it just makes me think about focusing, make sure I'm doing what I gotta do, I'm on top of my game. And yeah, I'm just paying attention, doing what I gotta do. I like to learn. I mean, nowadays, that's the only thing I take interest in. I realize that knowledge is power, so when I'm ready, I'm trying to learn. For any, any, my, any freshman that's coming in, stay to yourself and just stay focused. Also listen to your parent, because if your mom is saying go to school and you don't think that's the right thing, it's like, that's what I did. Now I'm starting to realize she wasn't wrong. So it's like, yeah, listen to your parents. I just want to learn. I'm ready to explore, learn anything new. Because I know there's a lot out there I don't know. So it's like, yep, yeah, I'm ready for that adventure. Alpha Abdul Rahman Kuyate. Personally, I didn't from remember any of it, to be honest. But um, I heard that something happened to my brain, and I was in the hospital for five months. It was a long time. In February of 2020, Ashley suffered a brain embolism, leaving her unable to walk, talk, eat, and even breathe on her own. Through home hospital teaching, she never stopped learning and was determined to return to school. My name is Ashley Naji, and I go to school at Frederick High. They taught me how to walk again and eat, and like, I, I couldn't like, the first thing I did when I woke up was blink. That's how I communicated. It took a long time for me to start walking. Like it took a really long time for me to start walking. And then when I did, I had to take therapy, a lot of therapy for like just walking, like standing. And that was so hard. It was really hard. I never gave up though. I persevered. I'm very proud of myself for doing that. Even like just getting up and coming to school, you know? Like, that was hard even to begin with. Um, I wanted to surprise everyone like, when I got here for the first time without a wheelchair because that was like a, a big you know, thing for me to travel without a wheelchair. And I did, and that surprised me, even me. And then I did it. I designed it on Photoshop. I, just, I used the outline on, from Pinterest 
to help me get everything together. And I filled it, it in with the school colors. And there it is. There it was. Well, after I graduate, I am looking forward to like owning a bakery, maybe. Um, or being a photographer, you know, taking pictures. Yeah. Who knows? My advice is to push through it, you know, whatever you're doing. Even if it's hard, just know that everything, skip, everything gets better in the long run, you know? Even, even if it's hard, everything gets better if you keep trying. For over two years, Ashley has persevered daily. Today, she will walk the stage at graduation. Ashley Chinwindu Naji, graduating with honors. With high honors, Sarah Lynn Spencer. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I called the wrong name. Sarah, I am pleased to announce that your adoption has been finalized. Graduating with honors, Sarah Lynn Henning.